Tyler Sullivan here with Sunday's Blazing Game Day picks presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. The three of the four highest projected point total games of Week 11, all in prime time, means that they're not on the main slate. Great for the viewers, not so much for us fantasy players. But well, them's the breaks. At running back, you're still getting a discount on David Johnson if you think David Johnson is back to being the real David Johnson. I'm not all the way convinced, but 21 carries in a game where the Cardinals trailed the entire game, well, that's pretty good. And so were the real passing routes. DJ ended up with seven receptions. It's exactly what you want to see. And normally you don't think it would get any better, but here are the Raiders. They're bad. So if Johnson's going to keep this going, this seems like the matchup. And that receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, lethal combination of skill and consistent volume makes him just about matchup proof. Now there's a high likelihood that he will be shadowed by Josh Norman, but since this isn't 2015, that's not the end of the world. Hopkins only dropped below double-digit targets three times in 2018 and has never seen fewer than six in any game. Plus, he's found pay dirt five times in his last four weeks. At quarterback, let's go after the lone super high-scoring game on the slate, Eagles and Saints. As big favorites, expect the Saints to employ a close-to-run pass split as possible, so you're banging on Drew Brees to pass near the goal line instead of New Orleans just punching it in. That seems a little dicey. So let's go on the other side of the ball and use Carson Wentz. The Eagles, well, they can't run anyway, so expect a lot of passing. Wentz is chucking it up to close to 40 times a game since his return and likely will not see a more favorable matchup at all this season. Those were your blazing game day picks presented by Buffalo Wild Wings.